What's up, everybody? Hope you're all having a phenomenal Wednesday. I am, of course, your host, Ethan Smith, who does the most. I hope you all are having a phenomenal day. Uh, at- I'm, of course, your host, Ethan Smith, here at Locked On Pirates, and it is our 300th episode today. Of course, I have not been here for all 300 episodes, but it is a pleasure to be your host here of Locked On Pirates. Thank you for making me your first listen of the day every single day. Hope you all are having a phenomenal Wednesday, phenomenal hump day, as am I. I figure today for the 300th episode, I'd go a little modern on the jersey and a little throwback on the hat just because I know a lot of you guys are kind of throwbacky. A lot of you guys are also kind of more modern like myself. But guess what, guys? I hope you all are having a phenomenal day. Thank you for the 300th episode. You can find Locked On Pirates, of course, on Spotify, Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and, of course, YouTube if you want to see my wonderful face. You guys have been smashing the follow button on Twitter. You've been smashing the follow button on YouTube and subscribing, making some comments, all that good stuff. Again, quite a, uh, been kind of a quiet off season so far, but you guys have been absolutely phenomenal on that front. So, again, thank you so much for tuning in, making me one of your first listens of the day here on the Locked On Podcast Network, where it's your team your Pittsburgh Pirates every single day. And with that said, let's get into episode 300 of Locked on Pirates. You are Locked on Pirates, your daily Pittsburgh Pirates podcast. Part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. And you know one thing I'll go ahead and say, that intro never gets old. Thank you guys so much. What's going on, everybody? It is your host of the Locked on Pirates podcast, Ethan Smith. Hope you all are having a phenomenal day today. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope the weather isn't too bad up there in Pittsburgh. It's not too bad down here. Wherever you may be listening, however you may be listening, thank you for tuning in, as you always do, for the past 299 episodes. I, of course, as I mentioned before, have not been here the entire time. Um, But I've been here for a pretty long time. I will say that I just hit my one year a couple weeks ago. You guys always go through everything with me. I really appreciate it so much. As you can see on the bottom, if you're on YouTube, I'm thanking you all. 300 episodes. You can also follow me on Twitter at Locked On Pirates and at MVP underscore Ethan. We just surpassed the 700 mark on followers on Twitter. I'm getting close to that mark as well. So if you guys want to go shoot me a follow and know anything about the Pittsburgh Pirates among all of the other people that you follow on the Twitter machine, make sure you go do that. Again, I hope you all are having a phenomenal Wednesday. And today's episode, of course, is going to be kind of an appreciation podcast of many things. And we're going to go ahead and get into the first part of today's podcast where we're going to go over some notable moments since I have been the host of Locked On Pirates. And I figured that was a good start for us today. And I mean, I kind of came in to the Locked On Pirates podcast in an interesting time. Um, And also, by the way, before I get into that, let's cheers to everyone. As you can see, I tap the screen. Take a little sip for you. Again, thank you all so much. Get a drink ready because, you know, we're going to go over down memory lane pretty much this past year or so. Uh, But some notable moments since I've been the host. When I first got on to the uh, Locked On Podcast Network, the Pirates are finishing up the uh, 2020 season. Of course, that was the COVID year that we all want to forget. 19 and 41, worst record in baseball. The team just looked absolutely awful. Um, But they really turned it around in 2020, uh, 2021. They looked a lot better. They weren't that much better, but they looked a lot better than they did in 2021. But some of the most notable moments that I had to cover right off the bat, of course, were the Key Brian Hayes uh, debut where he had a very good start to his career. One of the best starts among Pittsburgh Pirates rookies that we've ever seen to the point where he was getting a lot of hype for rookie of the year. Of course, we know he didn't win it because of injuries and some other things as well. Um, but that was really one of the first things I was talking about was key Brian Hayes. That was kind of what he was the big talk of the town. Uh, O'Neill Cruz didn't make his debut yet, but he was just getting known. Brian Reynolds had a down year, but I kept telling everybody he was going to have a phenomenal year. Look at the year he had. And then you can go ahead and say that I was probably right. 
Um, but then, of course, Ben Cherryton started making a lot of his notable moves that he made in the 2020-2021 offseason. Of course, uh, Joe Musgrove was the first one. And on tomorrow's podcast, we're actually going to be grading all the trades that Ben Jarrington has made thus far and seeing where they're at in terms of development, in terms of the players that we got in return from those trades. Uh, so that'll be on tomorrow's episode. Um, but that's really when my first big kind of podcast story had to be dropped was the Joe Musgrove trade to the San Diego Padres. That was one of the bigger ones where we saw Dave Bednar get traded. Uh, come here, by the way, sorry about that, Pittsburgh native. We saw Joe Musgrove go to his native San Diego Padres where he would throw the first San Diego Padres no-hitter of all time. Also, uh, shortly after that, and I'm sure you guys all remember this one, Christmas Eve, Josh Bell gets traded from the Pittsburgh Pirates to the Washington Nationals for Will Crow and Eddie Yeen. That was another big thing that I had to talk about. Uh, other offseason stuff, they brought in Todd Frazier later in the offseason. That was another notable moment that I had to cover as well. And then going back on the trade front, Jamison Tyone to the New York Yankees was the third big one, and that one, I believe, not to give a spoiler, has probably been the best one that Charrington has made so far that we've seen the direct impacts from, uh, featuring Roenzi Contreras and um, Diego Castillo and those guys as well. Um, well, Diego Castillo was from the Clay Holmes trade, I believe. Um, but also, I mean, again, then the season came along. I got to be with you guys when Key Brian Hayes hit the first uh, home run of the season for the Pittsburgh Pirates against Chicago. If you were on Spotify Green Room at the time, you heard that I was going absolutely nuts. Um, a lot of the hosts know that as well. Um, and then some other notable things. I was on the Locked On MLB podcast pretty early when I first got onto the network. Um, of course, our pal Sully over there, Paul Francis Sullivan, please call him Sully. Opened me, he just opened his arms to me and said, Hey, man, I like the Pirates. I want to come talk to you about it. I want to see what you're all about. And that's really where things really started kicking off and getting off. And I mean, the entire season was really fun as well. We got to see Brian Reynolds have one of the better years as a Pittsburgh Pirate. That I mean, he's had his best year as a Pittsburgh Pirate, but it was probably the best season from a player that we've seen since Andrew McCutcheon was here. Um, you got to see Rolenzi Contreras and O'Neill Cruz near the back end. Um, come on, and I, that was a big deal to you guys. It was a big deal for me as well. The trade deadline in the MLB draft, I got to be with you guys for my first MLB draft here at the Locked On Podcast Network as well. I'm sure you guys had a lot of fun uh, seeing Henry Davis get drafted number one overall. We covered that for a pretty long time. And then, of course, I mean, you look at the other people that I've met. I have Adam Bittner on here usually every Friday, um, Gary Morgan every Monday. I've had him. And we'll get into that in my favorite moments uh, here in a minute with some other people that have been on this podcast that have made the experience so much more fun. And that's the thing is this is all an experience. This is all fun. Um, I never thought I'd see myself podcasting, but now uh, you guys have kind of become like an extended family to me in a way. I mean, I could name a bunch of guys um, that always are like liking and commenting. Uh, Reen Maurice, Baseball and Death. He's one of the guys that's always liking my uh, stuff. Um Pirates Drew, who does the scorecards, he's always liking stuff. Anthony Murphy, uh, he's been doing things as well. Um, Gary Morgan, of course, he's very awesome. Adam Bittner has also been on here a lot. Um, I mean, even Charles Hayes, the father of Key Brian Hayes, he followed us at one point uh, this past year. He's very awesome. He interacts every once in a while. Um, there's just so many fun guys on Twitter that you can find to talk about the Pittsburgh Pirates, but also you guys choose to come listen to my podcast all the time and listen to my opinions on the Pittsburgh Pirates, even though I'm not credentialed or anything. You guys always open your arms up to me. You open your ears. You listen. You always give comments. If I'm wrong, you guys let me know I'm wrong, and then I write my wrongs. Um, and those are some notable moments. I mean, you also look at, like, the Jacob Stallings home run against the New York Mets. The walk-off was pretty fun. Uh, we've seen like the trade deadline. We've seen all of the crossovers and all that stuff. So those are some notable moments that have happened since I have become the host. And before we get into my favorite moments, I want to let you guys know that today's episode, of course, is brought to you by another favorite thing I love about this podcast that came along from me at one point, and that is Built Bar. Built Bar, of course, is the best tasting protein bar on the market. I love Thanksgiving. All the good food and treats and plenty of them are amazing, but maybe you want a yummy dessert but isn't so full of calories and sugar. It's the perfect time for Built Bars. Built Bar is a new holiday dessert feast on something delicious and feel good about it. 
One slice of pie has upwards of 300 calories, and that's on the low end. Most built bars are only 130 calories and only four grams of sugar with plenty of protein. Low calorie, low carb, low fat, high protein, covered in 100% real chocolate. Built Bar is a great option for when you're hungry. If Thanksgiving isn't coming soon enough, go to Built Bar and have one or two while you're in the middle of waiting for that wonderful turkey and stuffing that you love so much. Share some of your family gatherings as well. It will make things less awkward. Maybe Aunt Betty hasn't tried a Built Bar yet. New surprises are also coming all month. Limited time flavors are arriving at BuiltBar.com regularly, so check the site often. There's nothing like a Built Bar Black Friday either. Mark your calendar. Black Friday will be a huge event with all sorts of surprises. Go to Built Bar right now and use the promo code LOCK15 and you'll get 15% off of your order when you use that promo code LOCK15 at BuiltBar.com. Now, those were some notable moments of things that have happened and things that just kind of popped in my head. But what are some of the favorite moments? Well, of course, I already named one. Uh, the Key Brian Hayes home run was probably the highlight of the season uh, for me whenever he hit the home run against the Chicago Cubs on opening day. Uh, that was one of my favorite moments that I've had here at the podcast. It was really enjoyable, really fun to interact with anybody, the, everybody the following day on the podcast with all the comments and everything. Getting the win on opening day was a very big deal for a lot of people. So that was really fun. Um, just the crossovers that I get to do with a lot of the hosts. Um, of course, uh, some of the hosts have changed. Uh, Gabrielle Starr, who was one of the hosts of Locked on Red Sox, we did a lot of fun stuff together on here uh, where we had some talks about Ben Charrington, the Boston Red Sox, and the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Of course, I've already mentioned my pal Sully, Paul Francis Sullivan, over at Locked on MLB. We've done a lot of talking about trade deadline stuff. Uh, remember recently Tyler Anderson and his trade uh, dilemma thing that was going on with if he got traded or not or if he did. Um, Javier Reyes, one of the funniest guys on the network over at Locked On Padres. Me and him, of course, have talked a couple of times amidst the Joe Musgrove and the Adam Frazier trades. You just saw Dan Wilson last week at Locked On Phillies. He's a really fun guy as well. Uh, Paul Holden at Locked On Rockies. He's one of the newer guys. We did a crossover with him as well. That was very fun to uh, listen to and stuff like that. It's just really fun when I have a lot of these people on. Uh, Stacey Gotsoulias as well, as well over at Locked On Yankees. She's very fun. Uh, Eric Hausman and H-Town Wheelhouse over at Locked on Astros. They're a very fun group. Jason Burke over at Locked on A's. And, of course, in my own division. I mean, Lucas Smith, you guys have heard his uh, voice and name a lot over at Locked on Cardinals. Uh, Jeff Carr, or Jeffrey Carr, as I like to call him sometimes, uh, over at Locked on Reds is actually our new channel coordinator. Uh, Sean Woodley is now over on the Locked on NHL Network, so he's very fun. But Jeff over at Locked on Reds is really helping this ne uh, net of the neck of the woods over at Locked on uh, grow a lot here over at the Locked on MLB podcast. Of course, you have RM Layton over at Locked on Fantasy Baseball. He's very fun as well. I mean, there's just a plenty amount of guys. Dylan Short over at Locked On uh, Braves. Uh, he's moved on as well, but he was a very fun listen to have on the podcast. Jake Mastriani over at Locked On Brewers and now Locked On Braves is also another fun one. Uh, Locked On Cubs. Comedian Joe Kilgallen was uh, actually a host here. The hosts have changed a little bit also. But it's always fun to talk to division rivals especially just because, I mean, you get a different perspective from the idea that you can actually have a civil conversation with a Cubs fan or a Cardinals fan or a Reds fan or a Brewers fan and not have to hear, oh, the Pirates are this, the Pirates are that, blah, blah, blah. The Cubs did this, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to hear any of that. You actually get to just have a civil baseball conversation, and it's very fun to do. And, I mean, I just enjoy everybody on the network. I enjoy you guys as well. Some of my other favorite moments, as I mentioned already, the Jacob Stallings home run, the walk-off against the Mets was very fun. Uh, I already mentioned Roenzi Contreras and O'Neal Cruz's debuts. Those were very fun to cover. They were very fun to watch. Of course, O'Neal Cruz and Roenzi Contreras are two of my favorite guys in the entire uh prospect system right now so i'm very excited to see what they bring to the table in 2022 and you guys already know that i'm going to be covering that extensively um for the remainder of the off season and whenever they do eventually come up in 2022 but i also have to say one of the favorite moments that i've had amongst a lot of them is just the player interviews you guys they come every once in a while um, some of the guys in the system and some of the guys even on the major league roster have come onto the podcast before and they've had a good time with me. Uh, most notably, some of them, Nick Gonzalez, uh, the 20, 
uh, 20 first round pick by the Pittsburgh Pirates out of New Mexico State. Came on the podcast. He was very fun. His dad is really cool as well. He follows the podcast. Uh, Anthony Alford, the outfielder, he talked to me in spring training. That was a very fun uh, talk. Um, learning a lot about him, learning about um, his development. Uh, coming over from Toronto to Pittsburgh and how he feels he's moving forward as a player. Uh, Travis Swaggerty, who uh, recently got married not too long ago, was also on the podcast. He's a very fun guy as well, very talkative, very fun outfielder, who we could also be seeing debut in 2022 as well. Most recently, I believe our most recent player interview was with Mason Martin, the power hitting first baseman. Man, that guy is fun. Um, Seeing him talk about uh, how the clubhouse down in Altoona was changing a little bit with the trades and everything, but they were welcoming everybody in. He's very excited to come to Pittsburgh and help as well. And I think that's everybody that I've interviewed. Um, I, of course, have contacted some other guys as well. It's just a hit or miss sometimes, but it is very fun to talk to the players, get a kind of grasp on where they're feeling, what they're doing. Um, And I mean, you really like to hear the stories too, because I mean, For the most part, we see them as players. We see them in the batter's box. We see them in that. But it's really fun to get to know them as people. Um, I like always asking them if they've ever been to Permani Brothers, uh, what their favorite Permani sandwich is, what their off-season plans are, how they attack the regular season, how they fix things in their game, uh, how they got into baseball, period. That's one thing I also love to ask a lot of them as well. Um, And I mean, I'm hoping for more player interviews in the future, especially with some of the bigger name guys. Um, They're just really fun to have on. And that's just what I enjoy about it the most. Um, And also like having you guys again, comment and stuff. I always tell you, if any of you guys listening want to come on the podcast and just talk some Pirates baseball, talk anything that we want to talk about, just let me just let me know. I will always set up to have you guys on here. I will always make sure that I make you the listener the priority because that's what you're here for. Because if I didn't have listeners, what would I be doing a podcast for? It's kind of the point. Um, And you guys have helped me grow so much over the last couple months and, and the entire year. I mean, it's been a very fun calendar year so far, but of course, we're not over yet. Nothing's over yet. We're really coming out with a lot more stuff. A lot of things are going to be coming in the future as well. Um, It's going to be a fun next couple months, uh, depending on how the CBA works out. But even if it does end up stopping baseball, we're going to find stuff to talk about. We're going to like, you know, we can make some games. We could talk about some stuff uh, from the past. I'm going to like really start uh, dwelling into that. A lot of the like past things that the Pirates have done that were really good for the team and everything. But those are some of my favorite moments. And Uh, Before we get into what we can expect in the future, I want to go ahead and let you guys know that if you want to win some money, and as I always say, don't listen to me, go to betonline.ag. BetOnline, of course, is back and better than ever. A new web interface for the start of the basketball season is here, and more props, odds, and lines are also here than ever before. BetOnline remains your number one spot for all of the basketball and football action this season. Head to our new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit, meaning if you deposit $100 on your betonline.ag account, they will match 50% of that and give you $50 of free money to go win some money for yourself. Just make sure you use the promo code if you're on YouTube at the bottom of the screen, locked on in all capital letters to receive your bonus. From basketball, football, hockey, NHL, Well, hockey is the NHL, but maybe you want to bet on the AHL too. Boxing and UFC also right to your favorite Vegas casino games like blackjack slots and, you know, poker. Don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers available for the 2021 and 2022 season. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all of your favorite sports. Bet online is where the game starts. Now, Uh, I've kind of went over my favorite moments, some notable moments since I've been host, but what is there to expect in the future? Well, as I mentioned already, I would love to have some players come on the podcast. Um, A lot of player interviews would be really fun as well. Um, I really think they would, I would have a lot of fun with that. You guys would have a lot of fun uh, listening to uh, the players come on and talk. So I'm always in contact with them, just asking them, Hey, you guys want to come on the podcast, stuff like that. Um, So that'll be something you guys can expect more of here uh, in the near future. Also in the near future, especially this off season, I want to hear your questions more often. I know you guys submit them through comments. You submit them through everything. 
I want to start having a day of the week for you guys. That's a mailbag episode day. So, um, of course, comment, subscribe, especially on Twitter. I see Twitter first usually. Comment, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, comment wherever you can comment. Um, and just let me know what day you guys would love to do a mailbag for yourselves and hear some of the questions that you want to have answered, answer, because I'd love to answer all of your questions. Um, I love the mailbags. They're very fun. I've done a few of them in the past. I enjoy questions. That's like my big thing. Like even being a server at uh, the job I work at, if anybody ever has a question, I don't ever get annoyed by it. I love questions and I always try to give the best answer as well. Also, five days a week, I am getting better at it. I am going to make sure you guys are getting your podcast every single day like you are supposed to, like I am supposed to. You guys do so much to listen. You do uh, so much to support me. I'm going to make sure that you guys are getting your podcast every single day, Monday through Friday, or whatever schedule entails. I am making sure that happens for you because I am devoting myself to you as a Pirates fan. Because realistically, at the end of the day, this podcast is me as a fan talking to you as a fan. I'm not an insider, not a guru, I'm not a stat statistician, I'm none of that, but I'm a fan who likes talking about the Pittsburgh Pirates, I enjoy doing it all the time, and you guys are fans too, and you also expect me to have this out to you every day, and I'm making it a promise to you that you are also going to every day, because we're also going to have a Thanksgiving episode, so that's going to be a nice little fun episode for you guys next week, um, and then of course... We're going to be going a little bit deeper, as I said, into like the Pirates history, like 79, 60. We're going to start kind of deep diving into that area as well a little bit more this offseason. Talk about some stuff that the Pirates could take from way back in the day. If they, of course, things are very different now. But some things the Pirates today can learn from the championship teams or the Pirates of the early 90s and late 70s and even 2013 through 2015 and how the Pirates and Ben Charrington can really build and learn from those teams as well. Um, the content is also going to be very fun. I'm trying to make it a lot more interactive. Uh, I want you guys to also be on YouTube a lot more. I enjoy YouTube. I didn't think I would, but I really enjoy it. It's very fun. Um, I have a very good time on YouTube. Uh, I just like seeing graphics and everything and having all that good stuff. Um, so you guys make sure you keep smashing the subscribe button and comment and like button on YouTube. But with that said, guys, thank you so much for episode 300. All I can say again is thank you so much for tuning in every single day. Um, thank you for making me your first listen here at the Locked On Podcast Network. Shouts out to Locked On Penguins host Hunter Hodes, Locked On Steelers host Christopher Carter, um, Locked On Pit hosts. Uh, thank you for all of them, Penn State, all that good stuff. Um, all those people that are all around here that you might also listen to, uh, thank you for them. They've all been very helpful. They have all had me on their podcast before, I believe. So um, they're also all really great people. Um, make sure you always come follow me as well. Uh, again, we're going to be having a lot of fun here in year two. Uh, the next 300 episodes are going to be really fun. Um, and I really hope that we can get to 412 episodes because once we get to Pittsburgh day episode, that's going to be very fun Four twelve, We're going to get there together guys. But as mentioned before, I am of course your host, Ethan Smith of the locked on pirates podcast. You can follow me on Twitter at MVP underscore Ethan. You can follow the podcast at Locked On Pirates on Twitter as well. You can follow the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Odyssey, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you get your major podcasts. And don't forget to come subscribe and like on YouTube as well. Guys, thank you so much. Hope you have all had a phenomenal Wednesday as I have as well. You can come see my beautiful face on YouTube anytime. You can comment on Twitter anytime you would like. I'm pretty much available most of the time. So I will definitely get to your comments. But guys, thank you so much. You can see I have the heart hand up. You guys are amazing. Keep up the good work with coming and listening to me and making me your first listen of the day every single day. And another listen that you should also give every single day is Locked on Bets. Your boy Q and those guys are on a hot streak right now. They've won 12 out of their last 14 weeks. So go win some money. Guys, it's your host, Ethan Smith, who does the most. And until tomorrow, I will see you on the flip side. Thank you, guys.